Well, hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to Manor Lords, part two of our first playthrough, building our very first village in this early access version, which, by the way, has been in development for seven years. Yeah, this indie dev deserves an incredible amount of credit for making such gorgeous buildings, beautiful sound effects, well-animated people, smoke, fog, uh, lots of immersion. Oh, wow. In fact, a road being blocked here by a tree being knocked down. And, of course, a gorgeous construction site for the well. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? All right, maybe not. There's just a log sitting there. But we got more to do, and you're back for more. So thank you very much for subscribing to the channel, becoming members, hitting the like button. Let's show some love for Manor Lords, damn it, if not for this channel, for all of YouTube. I think the entirety of the Internet needs to be on fire about this game as it brings in so many things that we've waited for from other games for so long. And now it finally is here in a game made by a gamer for gamers, and it really feels good. An absolute dub for all of us waiting so long. In fact, I did say in our first video that, you know, it felt like a game that we've been waiting for for 10 years, and honestly, a guy's been working on for seven. And so I hope this game really, truly leads to milestones in gaming of development and showing that anybody and everybody can make a game. It's going to take a lot of work. But even you can take down the big boys who just keep clogging everything up with microtransactions or whatnot. But we're not here for that. Let's talk about Manor Lords. Welcome back, everyone. We are here now to try to eventually grow our little uh, settlement and expand over here to the, uh, well, in the west, uh, which would be right over here, and try to get some fertile farmland. It's going to take a while till we get there, but we yet have to survive our first winter. We're getting ahead of ourselves a little bit. So we're going to speed up time as we wait for a few more people to move in. We're going to start foraging. Food's a little low. They've been warning us about that. We went from 15 bread to 8, but we certainly have uh, a few sites up now to go gather food. And uh, we're building our hunting camp next, it looks like. Uh, is that actually paused? Looks like it was about halfway done. Oh, interestingly enough. Wow, look at those birds. Hold on a second. Check that out. Whoa, I have not seen that before. Look at this. Hold on. Let's go into the uh, wonderful photo mode that this game has to offer. And look at that. Wow. That's amazing. Just beautiful. I think uh, Anno 1800 and whatnot also has birds that pass over your island when you're kind of scrolling around. But, uh, I don't know. Manor Lords just hits different, dude. It's like, uh, if somebody makes a sandwich for you, you can make the same sandwich that's your favorite day after day. Uh, and someone can make it for you exactly the same. And if somebody makes you a sandwich, it just tastes different. And that's kind of what this is in a weird way. Anyway, yeah, here's our alert on not enough supplies. We do have a shortage of fuel, which is going up. We're getting ready for the winter by having our uh, woodcutter lodge make as much firewood as they can, and we're building some more houses too. Now, what's interesting is even though these construction sites were paused, I think perhaps the um, oxen are delivering logs to these construction sites even before construction begins. So we'll make sure that if we pause something, we all we lower the priority of it so that way it gets less supply. Here comes the oxen now. Good old Fritz coming on through. Not uh, named Fritz at the moment. I don't think I can rename the uh, oxen at the moment, but Dev's got to put that in. It's got to be a day one emergency patch. I'm sure it'll be the first thing on all players' minds. All right, probably not. There's some other minor issues in the game. But check this out. If you haven't seen our first episode, look at how amazing this game is. We can go into a third-person uh, view here and basically walk around our village. I think there might even be a, a good opportunity here to go into first-person mode and like take pictures even closer, but like look at that. This game is like 13 gigabytes or something around that, like maybe 16, and just look at the detail. Look at it. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Dogs barking, leaves blowing. I think trees blow in the wind too a little bit. There's a little sway there maybe. Same with our cape. Look at the swag. Hello there. Cool. All right, we got another house going down. Very cool to be able to kind of walk around and take your time in this game. Honestly, I do believe this is a game that you should spend an incredible amount of time on each playthrough as it does kind of simulate the, uh, well, the time it takes for medieval kingdoms to be built and for buildings to be constructed and for armies to be raised to where, you know, a battle may last a few hours, but it could take a few years to raise it and, uh, you know, to mine all those materials, gather all those people, and then eventually train them. Yeah, it's going to take a long time. Okay, well, uh, we've also got a horse over here, too, and I'm trying to get him uh, to do stuff as soon as we get some more people. But our main goal today is to try to get our uh, population approval up to 50% so more people will start moving in. And we've got a few families here already, and they're starting to uh, help other people move in by building more houses. So we'll see how that goes. While we wait, we'll survey the land a little bit more and prepare for an expansion. There's our logging camp that will eventually lead the way towards building a mill up there, a windmill uh, to which we can then start processing 
uh, rye and some other things into uh, bread by making flour. Be a little long road until we get there, probably a year or two. So we're going to rely on the berry picking over here and the foraging, uh, the right there, and then also hunting right there. So we got about 38 wild animals, a rich deposit, and also berry deposit, very rich too. Looks like if it has a crown above it, it's a very, very good deposit. So if you ever find like a clay deposit, which are uh, finite, these are not infinite. So we'll have only 100 stone, 210 clay, and 232 iron. Don't know if that's a lot in this game yet. We have yet to find that out, but just like in games like Farthest Frontier, which, by the way, if you're loving Manor Lords, do me a favor and check out Farthest Frontier. It might not be your cup of tea, but it is a top-down city builder that does have free road building like this and some incredible medieval combat. It's a really great feeling game. I love that one. So check that one out. Wall building, defenses, all sorts of cool stuff. Look at this beautiful junction. Love this. And that's our main trade route that'll go all the way to the west. And then eventually we'll uh, start trading here, too. We actually do have a trading uh, opportunity up here. And I think it looks like a little post or something like that. Yeah, if you look carefully, you can kind of see like a little, like literally just like a little something there, like a almost like a lantern. And uh, we should be able to do trades there and order things. So that's cool. All right, we need to make some more cash. As soon as we do, we'll be able to put down some more uh, plots here for farming. Looks like we're growing carrots right now. Interestingly enough, I made a... Oh, I clicked on carrots, but I guess they mean a vegetable farm, so likely we're growing cabbage here. And uh, I believe this game also is somewhat angled towards medieval Poland, uh, just like medieval dynasty is as well. A lot of great Polish developers out there. Incredible games being dropped by those folks. Everything from 11-bit studios and Frostpunk to even the altars from 8-bit studios and uh, This War of Mine. So many great things coming out. Green Hell from Creepy Jar. And, of course, well, Slavic Magic as well. Uh, making a solo game, but still, it's great to see all those folks doing some amazing stuff. Love it. Right, hey, check that out. Our oxen dropping off another log right there. Uh, it's so cool to see them come out and, like, actually uh, rip the bark off and start making beams out of this. It's very cool. Doing a little maintenance. Oh, she's actually building the fence. That was cool. Weaving the fence together. Finishing off the house. Nice work. Another home completed for our people. Beautiful. Oh, another goal we should have is also to get our people to family level 2, or uh, Burgage Plot level 2. So all we need to do now is build a church. Easier said than done for a few of these things. And also the marketplace. But we got the market here. Plenty of room, actually. I thought I built it a little too big, but honestly, it looks like the right size for this town. We'll eventually have... Uh, a uh, fuel supply. Oh no, that's actually our fuel supply stall. We'll have two food supplies here. The market will be open for berries and for uh, venison or whatever they're hunting out in the woods. And then also clothing, to which I think we'll need to build a plot for maybe goats, is it? Goat shed, which will provide hides. So we'll be able to uh, possibly make clothing and sell that back to the town. Two more homes going up. Just two more left there. I really want to get more people in this town. Uh, previously, uh, homelessness affected us, but for the recent 30 days, nothing has really affected us. So people are happy. We just need to get that happiness up. Although it shows trending down, uh, this could be a change in the next year, especially if we start providing more food. So once the construction kind of comes to a, a stop, we can go focus on that. Let's go ahead and get people... Uh... Oh yeah, we're storing firewood here. We do need to keep doing that. We don't have anybody making firewood there. Let's go ahead and cut back on the logs. Let's have firewood uh, making go on. We'll have them store that. And let's also put somebody in the forager. So we're going to be gathering berries now. Very, very minimal management right now. Like a very small amount of people that we're managing. So we have to be very particular with who we put where. And right now we're just going to leave one person unassigned as the game recommends to lead the oxen around in order to deliver those logs. Even if you're not building anything, at least delivering the construction materials to the site is very powerful. Look at this. Just within a few minutes, we've now got the second, like the other side of the neighborhood done. Things are really rocking now. Of course, um, I think the biggest thing here is the fact that we stocked up about 39 timber, which is a really good thing. That's a lot of uh, fuel and a lot of buildings we can make out of that. So good stuff. One more to go. And there's our extendo that we built, too. One of these had like a... Oh, there was one of them that we built with a shed. Oh, I think it was this one here. Uh, when we put down this plot, it actually indicated that there was going to be a small shed there, which was different than the others. We have yet to discover what that is, so I'm very excited to see what lies in store for us next. Looks like the game will randomly put in stuff here too, like sheds, uh, what looks to be maybe a personal 
I was going to say well, but no, it looks like just ruin. Just, uh, yeah, like a destroyed little something. It looks like maybe a compost, like they were doing composting, but then it is dilapidated. I'm not sure. But anyway, it looks better than just a blank um, backyard. So that's cool. Oh, the music is outstanding in this game, too, and same with the atmosphere. Just phenomenal. Beyond phenomenal. Uh, let's see, what do we got now? Six bread, so it's getting worse, but we do have somebody here finally going out into the woods. Looks like they're bringing a little basket with them. So, forager ba uh, gathering berries, that's good. We'll be able to rely on that into the winter, and then we'll switch to uh, hunting right around late summer. So then autumn, harvesting and plowing and sowing crops will take place in winter. Seasonal resources are gone. Firewood consumption doubles, and the lack of firewood might cause freezing. Sheep shearing forbidden in the winter, too. So that's another thing to consider. Also, uh, yeah, that means if firewood consumption is doubled, that means we're consuming it year-round for more than likely cooking. But uh, also spring and more than likely the late autumn months, it'll get pretty cold. So the home will have to be heated constantly with wood. Oh, another home. So it looks like we can accommodate up to nine different families at the moment. Maybe ten on the way. Depending on how it's doing the math there. And, uh, boy, I can't wait until we get one more. Just one more little uh, bonus there. Let's speed up time then as we wait for the forger to bring in food. Oh, there we go. Three berries and six bread. So that could mean that the marketplace could get another stall here shortly. Food variety zero. Be uh, berries, meat... And bread. Those are three things we could actually bring in, plus vegetables, too. And honey, which we unlocked in the last episode. we we'll actually have to see how we get honey. Um, right there, an apiary. Construction cost on that, though, is two planks. So we'll have to make a saw pit, then, so we could start on that, and then start making that. So industry, malt house, tannery. Look at these buildings. Weaver, a dyer's workshop. Boy, the, uh, those people are just, they love to work there. They're just dying to get in, truly. Let's go ahead and see if we can find the saw pit. There she be. The saw pit then to make planks. And we can put that on the edge of town too. Right next to the... Uh, there we go. Right next to the uh, sawmill. We can rotate this. Maybe like that. It doesn't seem to want to snap. I, I rotate it and then it tries to snap a different direction. We'll do that. Truly a pit. Okay, so we'll make planks there, and then eventually we'll have our other logging camp up, which seems to be ready to go. We can get people to work there, too. So what's great is that we've already built a ton of buildings, and so the moment people move in, they can get right to work. We don't have to have anybody sitting idle. And now we're just going to work on building up a food supply to be able to survive the winter. And... Uh, once the bread's gone, that'll be kind of a hit to us because we won't have three sources of food. Meat, berries, and bread would be great. So, yeah. Ooh, and lightning, too. Wow, hey, here comes the cart. The very thing they told us about, too, making sure all buildings are connected because the carts that come with the storehouse and maybe the granary will utilize those roads. So make sure everything, as much as you can, is connected via road. Some things just can't, though, like the uh, berry deposit up there. But it's good. We're bringing in berries, and it looks like they're replenishing quite well. I wonder if we're constructing anything else at the moment. I think everything else may be paused. But let's make that saw pit a top priority so we can make those planks and then eventually get the uh, honey going. That'd be nice. Also interesting, one person working there, but I see two people coming out. Maybe somebody uh, transporting from the woodcutter. This person maybe delivers here, and that person might pick up stuff. Not sure exactly. Hey, we got a second stall. They're selling right next to each other. A little crowded. Firewood salesman there. And it looks like this person's just getting started with selling berries, I see. Wow, so the very things that we gather are physically on display. So if there was a bunch of uh, meat, for example, there'd probably be meat and bread. Maybe cheeses here, too. And same with the firewood. Looks like there's just a little bit. But I'm assuming the more firewood we make, the more that will be on display. And that'll give a lot of confidence to our people. Oh, and there we go. Some more things coming over. Bread, too. Great. Okay, that's going to be awesome. Good stuff. So food and berries are being sold. Interesting. It shows only four, but it does show some things there. So that might be on the reserve. Technically, there we go. We have four berries and five bread uh, based on the currently total goods. But 
Here we've only got four that are not yet claimed. That they don't yet need. Alright. One person logging, one person on the storehouse. We probably should put somebody on the granary then. No unassigned families to guide the ox. That's uh, okay, I think. Yep, because they got all the logs they need. So we're going to try to go away from the ox now and try to get people making firewood. Delivering things that they need to. That's one, two, three right there. And we've got four at the forager hut. But where's our fifth person? There at the logging camp. Okay, let's shut that down, and then... What about our hunting tent? There. We'll make that a high priority. Although I can't see it actually requiring anything for construction. Let's check the hunting camp real quick. Uh, no construction cost. It is free. And free to relocate, too. So the, the uh, construction of the hunter's tent is just pretty much the easiest thing there is. Cool. You think it'd be a little more complicated with maybe possibly smoking the meats on site and or maybe uh, hanging things up and using that to uh, do some dressing, but... Alright. So far, so good. Okay. Come on, baby. Give me that plus. I need it. Let's speed up time then. We're getting through May. Lots of rain. Lots of replenishment. Time for reflection. And, uh, boy, this this house is being overgrown. <laughs> What's going on here? That's crazy. It's like, I, I think uh, the tree that was here maybe got uh, cut down and fell into their house, maybe? It might be possible. The logging camp was cutting down trees around, so who knows? Someone will get that out of there. Funny, though. Kind of looks like the house is condemned and overgrown. Looks cool. Hey, there we go. Look at that. The hunting camp complete. Let's get somebody hunting now. Okay, so we should be bringing in meat and berries. We should have some bread remaining. And hopefully all of that together with the uh, uh, vegetables coming in should be good. We don't want any more people on a sign. Uh, nobody uh, working on anything but food now. Except for the storehouse because that is selling firewood. Got to keep them supplied. All right, meat should be coming in too. Ooh, happiness went from, what was that, 47? Oh, look at that. Market food variety at 48. Man, it is brutal to get over that 50 hump. But once it starts, man, that's going to be like... Uh, you remember back in the day when you'd pull a prank on somebody and you'd turn the car radio <laughs> all the way up? And uh, it was like analog, so, you know, up meant all the way up, and uh, they'd turn the car on <laughs> and the music would start blasting. That's what it's going to be like. It's going to be a sudden jolt. Uh-oh, never mind. Oh, bandits stole from us. Seven-something. What was that? What exactly did they take from us? Blocks? Tools. They stole seven tools from us. Those monsters. Wow. That's a big theft. Where did they come from? They're not in our area. They're in a different district. Wow, they snuck in and stole seven tools without us even knowing or seeing them. That's interesting. I guess we're going to have to have guards up, but in order to get guards, we got to have more people. 49. All right, we're almost ready. We're almost ready. We got that food variety going. Beautiful. We got bread, berries, meat. Gives us a plus one every month, so hopefully by July, we've locked in a plus 50 and more people will move in. This is our big moment, everybody. We're going to start making some money. We're going to start uh, adding all these uh, you know, new things to the homes. We're going to get the horse taken care of, too. Maybe he can do plowing on the farm. We're going to get more people cutting down trees. I don't know how that person's leading that ox there. If there's somebody unassigned. Or not on assigned? Okay. I don't know. This game breaks its own rules sometimes. Okay, here we go. One more month. Let's go. I don't want to on assign anybody. I want food and firewood up. Give me as much as we can. 
Okay, it's still June. Hopefully we just need to be 50 and not over 50, like 51. There we go. Look at that. All right, let's see if people start moving in now. The music is outstanding. Even more soundtrack added. Just love it. Nobody there. Nobody there. Looks like they're storing logs at the other facility, even though this one's not full. And the storehouse cannot store, so only the logging camp can do that. Okay, maybe we gotta get 51%, but eventually people will move in. Very exciting. Big moment. So we've got nine homes plus one under construction. I think that's what that means. They'll be able to come in and start working too on their uh, new home construction for others. And it'll just be like a rite of passage for anyone who joins. Well, that traffic. This town's bumping for only like five families. Logging camp. Wow, plus four for market variety now. Well, July is going to be an outstanding month. There we are, 51% green, baby. Hopefully more people move in soon. Come one, come all. I agree. So yeah, food and firewood are probably the best things to start focusing on. As our population will only go up. And then we'll start adding people to the hunting camps. New mercenary companies available. Hope there's no more theft. Oh, da back down to 47. Boy, it'll drop quick, won't it? What affected that? Nothing, but our people seem to be rather picky, I guess. Ah, maybe a drop of the bread. We likely ran out of bread. But we do have a five-month supply of food and of uh, firewood, so that hopefully would bring some uh, happiness. Oh no, looks like we got some disease. People are suffering from disease and may stop working. Access to herbs may speed up their recovery, while a varied diet increases disease resistance. Wow, okay. So as I would mentioned in our previous episode, scurvy being a problem, uh, which is why we want berries and things like that, and possibly gout if we just get a red meat diet all the time. So we certainly want to, yeah, give a variety. Anybody living here? Residing family zero. So that home is open. Requires refueling. Church level. Let's try to build a church. Let's get the church up then if we've got our uh, pantry stocked a little bit. Let me go ahead and shut down the woodcutter and the storehouse for a minute. And let's try to make... Well, we'll do some construction now. And we'll try to get the saw pit done, make planks, and then make preparations for a church. And then if we don't have enough uh, stone, which we might have enough stone, we can build a church, which would be a huge step forward. Wow, look at that. Looks like watching somebody construct something in a Lego game. Yeah, there we go. Good job, team. All right, let's get a couple people there to make... Um, some planks for us. 43 timber, so more than enough. And then we will, unfortunately, we need the materials before we put down something like the church. So we do need 20 planks beforehand and 10 stone. So if we put it down somewhere, oh, the church would be great, like over here. Oh, maybe up here? Oh, that'd be nice. That'd be a very beautiful spot for that right up here. Yeah. Damn near perfect. Okay, good. Okay, um, yeah, and we know we're not going to farm anything up there, so we're good to build. Got all the permits cleared through the city. The expediter came through. <laughs> we got the uh, 
local uh, wildlife study complete. We're good. No invasive species, etc. We're locked in. What are some other things here? We got King's Favor and Influence that we can use on the world map. Uh, the Treasury and also annual royal tax to be paid too. Ooh, eventually we'll have to pay that. Unfortunately, no income, so it's going to be hard for us to expand because I had to have my horse, but uh, that's all right. I wanted to show them off. It's cool that we got horses now, not just oxen. It's cool. I'm not that mad. Construction reserve. Permanent livestock assessment. Oh, we need a... Uh, we, we should actually have two people at the saw pit to actually work that, right? I guess we need one unassigned in order to make deliveries. Okay, weird. I still want to get people on food production. Wow, ten berries, one meat. Good to see. Alright, let's see if we can get some planks made then. None yet. But I guess one person could uh, saw this by putting the log over the um, saw pit and then cutting through it. I was thinking it may be a two-person job minimum, but I guess that's not the case. Ah, there we go. Fritz being led over. Probably to pick up a log here and bring it right over to the saw pit. That's why things take time. Logistics is an important part of the game. Oh, looks like he's going to go pick up a fresh one. There we go. Nice. Generic storage full. Ah, and another house complete. Plenty of room for people to move in now. And it looks like they're sawing those planks. Beautiful. And we just got five. Okay. So then the church was what, 20? Yep. All right. So that'll be a long run. It looks like five... Per log. Oh, baby, come on. Let people move in. Come on. Come on, baby. I want some new people in town. Oh, my God. Is that new people? They're pulling the wagon behind them. Oh, damn. I thought I, I thought somebody was moving in with their stuff. Oh, mining pit construction complete, too. Good. I guess we can go ahead and unpause the construction now and let everything that needs to be built be built. And we'll just use it later. These are pits and not really anything that's going to be uh, hard to construct, so we're okay. Oh, here we go with another log. I wonder why they go all the way over there. Oh, he was delivering stuff to the other sites. Okay, hopefully these don't need any more wood. Actually, this probably will. The stone cutter will need two. And the mining pit... Doesn't seem like it'll need anything. And actually, could we assign a permanent animal here? What about the uh, permanent livestock? Ah, damn, we could only give him an ox. Okay. I thought we could use the horse, but uh, no information on the horse, really. Add a new horse after placing the horse. Oh, yeah. It doesn't say anything about what the horse can do. I'm assuming that's for farming. Or possibly for cavalry. But I was assuming that it could also be a workhorse. Regardless, we're at 53% with market food variety at plus 6. Going to try to build that church, too. Maybe we can get that done before winter with 10 planks. It's July. we got plenty of time. Beautiful church. We're going to build something beautiful. Fifty-four. Love it. Oh, wow. Market food variety plus seven. Let's go. Wow. I'm back down to 50. <laughs> Come on. Somebody move in. Construction finished at the old mining pit. All right, good. Now just the stone cutter camp. Oh, look at the clouds actually passing over. You can see the darkness. The shadows there from the clouds a little bit. Beautiful. <gasps> Family members join. Let's go. Finally, everybody. Finally. Oh, a moment to celebrate. All right. So you just need to be at plus 50. Wow. You got to stay above 50 for quite some time. That's beautiful. All right. Gorgeous. What about decorations while we wait? We could see if there's some decoration. 
Cosmetic only, at least for now. Oh, shrines might do more in the future. Okay. Now we can put a little shrine down. But it'll probably do something uh, religious in the future. Erase shrubbery. Clear an area of non-gameplay related shrubs and small stones. Oh. Like this? Ah, okay. And what about this? Oh, those are actual trees that are tipped over. Yeah, okay. So I'll have to go pick those up. Beautiful. So now we got two unassigned. This is heavier than it looks. And we got, yes, the uh, stonecutter camp being built. So I think all the mining is complete. And assign somebody to hunt as well. We'll have two hunters then. Meat will have to go up a bit. We're going to rely on meat a lot for the winter. We're already in August, so now it's time to start thinking about winter. I know, this early, right? But when you're from Minnesota like me, you're always thinking about it. And up there in Canada, it never ends. They want you to think they have a summer, but no, it's like Frostpunk up there. I mean, when's the last time you've been to Canada? Yeah, exactly. Okay, 53, cool. Generic storage full. I, we need to start getting people in the storehouses too. But we do have a few homes empty. Now we've got six. Six people, ten homes. So we've got four more free. Are we doing on our planks? Not yet. Bringing logs all the way. I don't know why they're bringing logs over there to store them. That's such a... Um, I don't know. The AI should be prioritizing bringing that here to the... Uh, this location. Oh, 15 planks. Are, are they sitting there? Or did, is that how much it's produced in the year? Not sure, but we'll get ready for that church. One more to go. We're going to build it right up here. What a gorgeous spot. Let's get it ready then. Now the church will bring in a lot of big bonuses for us in terms of attractiveness to the city and uh, will really help us to get past that 50 mark. So if food variety drops and people are still able to survive, at least it'll get rid of their annoyance at us and there's been some really cool discussions about the church in the game about how it looks how it'll be constructed the developer super active on twitter over the last few months really years since the demo in fact when the demo came out i guess that was five years in and has had about two years plus to polish the thing now and even more so uh yeah greg if you're watching bro good work we love you doing amazing things sir greg apiary we can build that now too but church first Almost ready. I'm very excited. I think we'll build it like this, and then we'll build a nice windy road up there. Gorgeous. We're ready. Very excited. And we could probably build a uh, road around it if we wanted to. Okay. So there's a road there too. So I guess we could make that kind of a shortcut. I'm going to build a straight road here to maybe build like a couple of plots here on either side. We'll, we'll see how it looks. Well, let's build this straight through. And eventually this sawmill will get out of here, so we won't have to worry about that too much. Let's get rid of the cosmetics. That looks alright. Uh, that one's got to go too. Alright, the church construction begins. A huge really just massive structure at this time like this is a big project for the amount of people that are here so this is going to require five timber 20 planks and 10 stone a bandit camp was sighted uh oh hold on wait a minute look at this there's actually ruins in the game what no way so they moved in and destroyed another city wait is there anything we can get from that Perhaps we can uh, come in here and rip this apart and get those planks back or something. It does look like a structure we can select. They moved into our territory? Oh no, they're right, ab right above us now. They're, they're closed in. An another camp. Oh, they grow in strength. Alright. Oh, and there's a structure there too. So definitely these lands were settled once. The granary and the uh, mill destroyed. Oh, those jerks. Interestingly enough, too, that mill looks different than the one we can build. The one we build is a little more square. That was a little more round. So we'll uh, 
check on that later. Anyway, we gotta prepare our military shortly. We'll learn the hard way. We'll probably be attacked at some point and take losses and it'll be a struggle. But we are playing for the first time on a normal difficulty and really that may as well be the hardest difficulty since we don't know a thing. Hopefully more people move in shortly. Beautiful. Look at that town. Look at this. Just wow. Manor lords. Just wow. Ma'am. Imagine if we could ride a horse around. That would be quite impressive. Shop's looking nice. 30 firewood. Lots of food, too. Great. Love to see it. All right, we'll speed up time as we wait for the first church construction in Manor Lords. Beautiful. I feel like we could have done this even in our first episode uh, if we were lucky with the amount of uh, happiness that we had in food variety and whatnot, people wanting to move in. But you got to hit that 50, it seems, before people will want to be a part of things. But hey, another person has moved in. We've now got two people free to do some work. Let's put them on the uh, forager. And uh, keep them on the granary for now. More people should be moving in soon. We're now entering September. We've entered the autumn months. September to November, harvesting, plowing, and sowing crops. But hopefully we can get our church completed before winter. We'll call this our winter church. Great uh, name for a town, too. Well, the church looks like it's got almost everything it needs, just a little bit more on the planks department. We might need to get somebody working at the storehouse to deliver the stone then. So let's go ahead and make a change of plans real quick. From the uh, saw pit to the storehouse. And we'll get them uh, delivering some things up here. I think they'll take a cart from the storehouse all the way up to the church, loaded with um, the stones that they need for the construction. Looks like they've already delivered a few things. And it looks like they've also laid out fencing. They've like prefab that and laid it out at the uh, church. That's kind of cool. <laughs> beautiful. Just beautiful. This game feels very much like a layout or whatnot for a train. Just a gorgeous little living, breathing model that's so close to life. It's incredible. Just incredible. Beyond outstanding. Could give the game praise all day. And I love it. Alright, any more cash? Nope, we're still stun locked at 5 for now. We'll get some more money soon. Looks like everybody's bringing firewood where it needs to go. I wonder if we'll have another family move in shortly. Oh, let's also make the uh, church the highest priority, too. And we got two months supply of food. But anybody else who moves in, we will definitely put them on food. Uh, the forger still has room for two more. And um, we can always build another one, too. Actually, I don't know what else we can do for food sources. Look at the trees. That is crazy. Look at this. Look at this. Just amazing. That's just beautiful. Isn't that just gorgeous? Wow. It just seems, I mean, we go from what looks to be like a, you know, an intro cutscene or something. Like, this looks like a promotional trailer to where it's like, oh, it couldn't possibly look that good. But it does! Look at that. It just looks so cool. Graphics aren't everything here. There's something else, and I can't quite figure it out. It's Manor Lords, that's what it is. 
Okay, let's speed up time then. We're just kind of in the waiting room now for construction. And we could build a road here, couldn't we? We'll make a road that goes that away. And that away too. Cool. Logging camp's gonna have to get out of here soon, but it's got a lot of little logs sitting there. And we'll start logging over on that side. Well, 17 out of 20 on those planks. Checking out everything before we give new orders. Hmm. Would be nice if a building was turned off that the smoke at the building would be deactivated since nobody's there. Hmm. Now it looks like the berries will soon be gone. Wow, look at that. We're almost up to 60% approval. Alright, we'll get that person working on the storehouse too. We gotta get things delivered right away. So the first person is actually working at the market to sell things, like the berry and the, uh, the storehouse. Uh, working on selling firewood, but h hiring an extra person has now allowed them to more freely spend their time delivering stuff. We're getting a notice of running out of fuel. Families are moving in. Fantastic. Put them on wood cutting. All right, now we should have fuel for the winter. That's lucky. Oh, the winter church is almost done. Person's transporting stones like one by one on their back. Could possibly use a cart. That would have been good. But hopefully this gives a huge bonus to the city. We're about to between 54 and almost 60. And it looks like fuel is our biggest concern here now. Food, good. Fuel, uh, not so good. But we can luckily make fuel throughout the whole year. Food becomes a little more scarce. Trees ain't going nowhere. I still want that market stall to work. Interesting how the market stalls are tied to the industry and not the market itself. So it's like you've got one person who represents the building as a salesperson and then everyone else who gathers and or transports. Very neat. It's going to take a while. Longer than I thought. All construction seems to do that. Even in real life, I suppose. Oh, there we go. And they're farming. We're going to get extra food at the marketplace. We're going to now have extra vegetables. So we got berries, meat, and vegetables since they're harvesting. Beautiful. Oh, those damn bandits, man. Now we're out of tools. I guess they start by stealing the most valuable thing. A little frustrating because it's just theft. That I don't think we can actually stop. I'm not sure what we can do to actually prevent them from coming in. Not like we saw them on the map. Excess goods need to be moved to a storehouse. Well, well we got people working at the storehouse. I'm tempted to get the person from the granary over at the storehouse. Oh, we can't. It only employs two. Oh, we got the cart going now? No, come on. Give me, uh... Give me stone to the church. We made that a high priority. We should be moving that first before we may, uh, move logs. Yeah, well. Bum, bum, bum. 
Well, we got 7 out of 10. We could go ahead and try to prepare for more homes. We will need a lot more people. And we could move that hitching post again. Maybe by the other one. It's a good spot over there. We'll move those two next to each other. And then I'll put some houses along this way, facing towards the road on the left. Ox comes over and they rebuild. Maybe. Boy, stone delivery is painful. One at a time. And on their back. Wow. I guess it's a pile of stones and not just one. But you'd think they would get smart and use the cart. But no. Now Raptorians. We like to do it the hard way, folks. You've seen the videos. You know how we do here. Oh, our supply storage. Is there a way to get that out of there? Uh, we do have storage already, so... I guess I'll build around that. Let's see if we can build a big, big thing of homes here. Oh, have we have we entered winter? I believe we have. Come on, look at those plots. Fresh meat. Damn the voice acting. Very well done. Sounds like we're at a renaissance festival. You ever gone to one of those? After playing Manor Lords for so much, I've got to get a costume. I think I'm going to go as this guy. The dude from Manor Lords. That's what I'm going as. Look at those shoes, by the way. Those are almost registered as weapons. And look at this. Now that it's raining, the pathway a lot more wet now. Mud everywhere. Cool. Alright, so we're building homes for one, two, three, four, five more. Oh, it looks like the supply now suddenly disappeared. So we can get a sixth home there. There we go. Well, that'll look cool. It's amazing how we went from nothing to something. Don't even ask me how. And the church is now under construction. We may finish this before the end of the year. It may truly become the white church. I think it's also painted white, and it's like a symbolism of winter. And our uh, steadfast dedication to... Hold on, I wrote something down. Oh, it's blank. Oh, all right, I had something there, but all that's here is the white paper. Darn. Well, we'll come up with lore later. <laughs> all right, let's build a road. About there. And of course we can hit Alt and left click to remove roads. Looks like there's some things there. Now remember, we're also playing an early access version before. This is for content creators at the moment. And we're recording well below uh, before the release date. And so the developer will probably be getting reports from me and a lot of other people on issues. So if you do see something on April 26th when this one drops, it might not even be a problem anymore. Uh, there were reports of uh, some th weird things with bushes and trees. Um, I did hear some things about the church, although they're investigating on that. And we have ourselves another citizen. Welcome to Raptoria. Yet another one. Beautiful. Wow, now we're going to start getting people. Working here, that's great. I think we'll keep going until um, December. I think we can keep harvesting until December. Want to make sure we've got more than enough food. The wood supply should be okay, though. As long as they keep making it. I feel like we can move the woodcutter now. We can actually move that uh, location for free. I 
I might move it maybe behind these buildings. Some buildings we, we must not be able to move, like the church and such. I guess with higher uh, buildings with more permanent uh, builds, they probably can't be moved as easily and thus have a fee. Should be able to bend this one around the corner. And there we go. We'll see if they can actually access both sides of the building, although I suspect they can only access where there is a node to connect to the road. But I wouldn't be surprised if they can walk up here and then just kind of walk through the grass. Ah, the church construction. Today's a big day for us. It's almost done. About halfway now. And uh, we're going to leave anybody else who's unassigned to uh, build on their own. It kind of works like how it does in Frostpunk, where at a certain point, even if people are assigned a job, they'll come out. Look at this. Look at this. Our first church. Look at that in the red trees in the background. That is that is sexy. That's a screenshot right there. Gorgeous. Oh man. Just stunning. Everybody works, everybody helps, no one quits. We must work together, people. I mean, you must work together. I'm just watching. <laughs> I don't want to get in your way. I'm Look, uh, I'll I'll be over here, you guys. You uh you don't want me helping. Wow. That is beautiful. You're watching a guy watching fake people building a fake church. And it is amazing. It is glorious in every way, shape, and form. Did I hear... Oh, I heard the oxen like he was way closer than that. Oh, here he comes. Man, look at that, dude. Oh, the weather effects changing. Look at that. This is what you want to get manor lords for. Now, can we actually go into this structure? We can't. It was one step away from game of the year. To which I don't think it will be this year because the game awards doesn't accept uh, early access games. Nor do they accept good games. I'm just kidding. Hey, you. What? I'm not slacking off, dude. I'm Look, I'm uh, securing the perimeter. Uh, there's no bears here. Yep, everything looks good. Oh, is that a bear? Sounds like one. Oh my god, it's a bear! No, it's an ox. We're good. We're good. You scared me, Fritz! Love you. Can I pet you? Alright, there needs to be a pet... Pet Fritz update. Look, at they're putting the fencing in. The church is almost complete. Let's go! Oh my god, look at this. Look at the birds, dude. I'm crying and shaking. This is a tremendous moment. I hope this game gives us many more monumental structures to construct like this. Of course, we got a lot of area now for burials, but we also have the uh, the Lord's Manor to build. Oh, that's it. It is done. All right, good work, people. Uh, I saw a little bit of slacking. Um, could use a little bit more hustle. Tina, good job. Bob. We'll talk. All right, people. See you in a couple episodes or something when we do it again. All right. Look at this. God, could you imagine something like this in ancient Japan? Feudal Japan or uh, anywhere else in Europe, too. This is a game formula that's going to work anywhere. Imagine the mods for this. Look at this church. And that'll affect us next month. Uh, in December, it'll probably give us a plus for the uh, the completion of the church. Oh, we could ch uh, change the sound of the church bell. For whom the bell tolls was our Steam achievement for that. Wow. Dev of the year. I want that one. Just a little dinky one for now. Okay, we can assign a priest. 
or a religious official or <laughs> whatever. Oh, pretty. Wow. Well, we're about to survive our first winter. Can we do it? I bet we can. Manor Lords, ladies and gentlemen. Episode 2 in the bag. Church complete. And we're ready for winter, I think. The only thing we're missing is just maybe a little bit of firewood. But I think we could do it. We'll pump those rookie numbers up and we'll be all right. Thank you again for subscribing. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for hanging out for a just spectacular game. Thank you very much for all your memberships. Join our Discord. All the links down below in the description. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching.